Ladies and gentlemen, we uh, welcome you all here tonight because this is a very poignant and significant occasion as we gather to remember what is a very key moment in the history of our football club and we also come to remember in particular one player and that is Kenny Davenport who of course we discovered uh, scored the first ever league goal. So it's wonderful to welcome everybody to this occasion but particularly uh, the relatives of Kenny Davenport and I want to, to thank them for their support here tonight. I'm now going to uh, hand over to uh, Mark Metcalf with his son Charlie and also Robert Boiling to say a few words about the fantastic work that they did and the work that they did to discover this incredible fact that uh, Bolton player scored the first league goal and in doing so overturned the history books from a few generations. Okay. I'm going to start with my son saying a few words and then we'll come on to it. Yeah. My name is Charlie Metcalf and I'm age 8. I'm a Sunderland fan, so please don't hold that against me. <laughs> <laughs> I am pleased that my dad and his good friend Robert Boiling helped solve the mystery who scored the first ever league goal, which was Kenny Davenport. I know that both of them want to give a special round of applause to Phil Mason of Bolton Wanderers, Gordon Taylor of the Professional Footballs, Footballers Association, um, Marcus Callaghan, Liam Thorpe, Martin McMullen, um, Duncan Sims and John Harvey, plus Amberley Publish, who, who published my dad's book on the origins of the Football League and in which the information on the first goal was published. Football is something I really like. It brings people together and I am looking forward to visiting Walton Stadium for the first time tonight. I would like I would like to say a, a thank you to Walton Wanderers for inviting us. Okay, a very short story uh, in a very long tale. Uh, the truth of the matter was that as I was writing uh, my football book, uh, which came out in 2013, there was something about the fact that I didn't didn't quite marry that Jerson Cox was given the first goal. That was an own goal after 30 minutes in the Villa away game at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, that was based on the fact the game would have kicked off at 3:30, and it just it's at three o'clock. Sorry, it would have kicked off. And already we wanted to find out what time that particular game did kick off because we'd worked out that the goal in the Bolton Wanderers against Derby game had been scored at 3:47 p.m. And that certainly was the quickest of the games that we knew the times for the kickoff. We spent about 400 hours uh, looking to find an advert uh, about the uh, that particular game. Uh, I'd more or less given up in, in many respects on my uh, areas. In, but Robert, who I knew from writing a book on uh, Charlie Hurley, uh, works at the British Library. And in his bit of spare time, he started digging out as many newspapers as he possibly could. Uh, and really it's it's the story of, of him finding it in a way which is the most important. Yes, um, Mark was concerned about this kick-off time and after a lot of searching I finally found an advertisement in the Midland Evening Reporter dated the 6th of September which gave the kick-off for 3.30 for the Aston Villa Wolves game. This then meant that the, other, the goal was scored at 4 o'clock which was after Kenny scored in 3.47. So that's basically how we found the story. And I passed it. It was like my Eureka moment, which I passed on to Mark. And um, yeah, it was a good thing. Funny enough, on the, on the same newspaper, showing how far this goes back, there was a report of the second uh, victim of Jack the Ripper. So it goes back a very long way. <laughs> Over back to you, Mark. I mean, firstly, Kenny Davenport himself was obviously a very talented footballer. He was one of the first people to become a professional footballer professional football kicked off in 1885 he was also the first Wanderers lad to go on and play for England uh, so he, he was a talented, he was quick he wasn't the biggest of lads and on this particular location round where we are he scored, scored the goal uh, I'm not sure which part of the, which part of the goal that is, which, which end he scored the goal and obviously uh, Wanderers who were, uh, played here until 1995 and obviously you see now that the housings, housings on it I'm really pleased uh, that you know the, the lads here, uh, Duncan, agreed to put up the plaque, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 
very, very happy that uh, tonight. One final thing, however, and I can't help but coming from where I live in Halifax, where it always rains, I do seem to bring the rain with me every time it comes. So I'll tell you that to you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much, Mark, and thank you to Robert and also to Charlie. Yes, you do 